family today, a look at how OSU researchers are keeping tabs on the state's bear population. Sunup's Dave Deacon takes us right to the bear's den in southeastern Oklahoma. There are black bears in Oklahoma, but it wasn't until the late 1990s and early 2000s that the black bears started to expand from Arkansas into Oklahoma. So they're relatively um, newly returned mm -hmm. to Oklahoma, but they were native here. It's been a long road for black bears in Oklahoma, but Oklahoma State University researchers in collaboration with the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation were conducting den site checks while the collared female black bears were hibernating earlier this spring. And then they decided to open up a hunting season in 2009. Um, but after several years of harvest, they decided to um, initiate a reassessment of the population to see how hunting has affected their numbers. Um, and also just to understand how they've continued to expand throughout the four southeastern counties that have an open hunting season. So I'm just continuing with the data set, um, trying to get a more robust assessment of what's going on. Because um, with a long-lived long mammal species like black bears, two sampling seasons is really just a snapshot. We're finding that our research has been extremely helpful to the wildlife department um, for them making their management decisions about hunting seasons and how many bears we have in each area and whether those populations are stable. It's great to work with the ODWC and it's gratifying to know that the stuff we're doing on the ground is actually helping them make their decisions. The really interesting thing about, about bears coming into Oklahoma is that they've been gone for uh, over 80, 90 years from the state and now they're moving back in but it's completely different than it was because now they're moving back in to a human do dominated landscape. The bears in Oklahoma and in Arkansas are predominantly vegetarians. So the, the um, acorns in particular in the winter, they get very, um, they, they go into a, a, a situation where they're trying to put on weight as, as fast as they can and as much as they can and those acorns are a great food source for doing that. There's no instance of the bears uh, attacking any livestock at all um, and they're just not focusing on meat. In your data what are you looking for? Um, so we are well, the data that we're collecting, we're collecting, you know, reproductive data. Um, this is why we do our den checks to um, determine how many cubs they're having, how many females. Um, and then we're also looking at um, survival rates. We have uh, about 26 bears collared right now. Um, and so we can monitor their survival and know how many are getting harvested. Um, population growth for black bears is um, most sensitive to adult female survival. So this is why we primarily call our females, um, and also that's how we get the reproductive data. And so we can kind of get an idea of how they're surviving in each, within each age class, yearling, subadult, adults. From there, deduce um, if the population is growing or expanding or declining. It's a much larger population, and even with the hunting season, this population is actually growing. It's doing well, it's more than stable, and it's got room to grow here. We'd prefer for them not to harvest our collared bears because it takes a lot of time and effort to get those collars on. And the grand scheme of what we're working on, that's just a success story, really. 